Today's fishing excursion takes place in Ketchikan, Alaska. Myself and a few family members took a halibut fishing trip with Baranoff Fishing Excursions. Each boat was rigged up for a specific species. Some of the boats that don't have a wheelhouse were targeting salmon and rockfish while others with the wheelhouse were targeting halibut. For tackle, our boat was set up with Pen Squall 50s with level lines. Each reel was filled with braid all the way to the top. From there, a swivel was attached with a 80 to 100 pound leader. At the end of that leader, some of us had a jig with two hooks and a skirt, while others had a painted weight with a hook at the end. Almost like a knife jig that you would use here in California for tuna fishing. On our way out to the fishing grounds, we saw tons of wildlife and other scenery. We passed other sport fishing vessels, even a cruise ship that was leaving. Once we had got out to our destination, the seas were pretty rough and the breeze was pleasant. Our guide dropped down the anchor and then we got to fishing. After everyone was rigged up, Keaton was the first person to hook up. Does it matter how quickly you reel them in? Way to go, Keaton. Show us all up. Let's go, Keeter. Keaton's fish was a starry-eyed rockfish. Unfortunately, this guy had to go back as the guys stated the season was closed. To descend the rockfish back down, we used a Shelton fish descender. Essentially, you have a weight at the bottom and you tie your main line to the swivel at the top. You then insert the open portion through the gills and out the mouth so the rockfish is facing towards the bottom. Once it gets back into its pressurized state, the fish will give a good couple kicks and swim out of the Shelton. Johnny, keep winding. Try putting it underneath your uh, left armpit. Uh, it's on my hip flex right now. <laughs> so put it. You got it, Johnny. You sure you want? There's no, there's no, there's no bend in the rod, buddy. <laughs> Sure, I'm not anchored to the bottom job. There's your, your gym workout. <laughs> 
Okay, she's hiding. <laughs> For bait, we were using fresh and old salmon. The salmon was filleted like a normal fish, and then you would take the fillets and cut them into strips like you would squid for rock fishing. Yeah, because your bait was down there the whole time. It's going to be the same fish again. Because that's around too. Alright, what'd you catch, Keaton? Oh, no, some sort of rock fish. Later in the trip, Little Jay had caught this little guy, which was called a ratfish. The guide had released it and said it was not good eating. Our excursion had come to an end and it was time to start heading home. Once we got back, we filled out some paperwork which would allow our fish we had caught to be shipped back home. Ketchikan was an awesome little port to stop at and I would definitely love to make a trip back up there. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next adventure.